Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today, I am going to be testing, trying, tasting some products that I have discovered on the internet that I purchased simply because I needed to find out what they were. Either I didn't understand what the product was or I was just curious about what it would taste like. It was complete impulse buying and just fueled by curiosity. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get started. I think this is the one that I am really excited about. These are soap dispensers from Japan and they're made by the company Biore and they have these interesting shaped containers because it dispenses a foam soap. But if you place your palm on the top of the dispenser and push to pump out the soap, it puts a pattern of a flower or a paw print on your hand. I think the idea is to be very cute, number one, but I think it's also supposed to encourage your children to want to wash their hands and use soap because it dispenses it out so charmingly. I am not sure if these are gonna be different scents, but we will find out shortly. But this is the difference in the pattern paw shaped and flower. All right, let's do flower first. So we have to open it from up here. Oh, that is very, very satisfying. And then that allows us to rip this part off. And that shows us the top. And then we remove this clip. Probably not quite like that, but you get the idea. And then that's it. And then we just take our dirty hand and push this down. Ready? Okay, nothing yet, because it's not in the tube. Okay, keep going. I felt something. No, not quite. Let's try it again. All right, not a full dispense. All right, here we go. <laughs> Look, it's a flower. It's a flower of soap. How cute is that? <laughs> Let us wash our hands. Here we go, here's our soap. La 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 la. It feels like shaving cream. It smells nice. Pleasantly soapy without being overly perfumey. And then we rinse our hands. Joy, 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 happy joy. That was so much fun and easy. And when you push down on it, it dispenses very similarly to any kind of other foam soaps. Mm, nice light scent and it's a bit like shaving cream the foam in terms of the size of bubble is quite tight okay let us try the paw print one opening here and the clip all right let's see if this one has a different scent so we have to do it a few times to get it to dispense It's a dog paw. It's so cute. It matches my own paw. Oh, I love it. Wash your hands. My hands are gonna be so clean. Same smelling soap, no difference. Soap smell, kind of like detergent a little bit, but just light. All right, let's do two hands, one with each pattern. Here we go. and flowers, so stinking cute. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Look, so cute and perfect. It totally works. The next item I have is this. This is a butter keeper. It's made by Nitori. It's a fantastic shop, by the way. We used to have a Nitori in the town that I lived in, but it is a butter keeper. And what's different about it is that you can slice your butter. It demonstrates a butter that looks like this, a big block which I think would be an equivalent to two sticks here in the US. In New England, we have butter that looks like this. It's a bit longer. In other parts of the US, you might find the same amount of butter, but packaged a little bit shorter. And the square is gonna be a little bit bigger in not diameter, but in width. <laughs> I think it'll still work, but let us see. There it is. Very trim packaging, I like that. So here's a lid. Oh, and look, you can see up here. Oh, there we go. This layer, this yellow layer, is the cutter. And there are a series of wires that are stretched very tautly across to cut the butter. So for the big block of butter, it would cut it 
in half lengthwise. But since I have a narrow butter, we could either line it up on one side like this, just to cut it into pats, or we could put it in the middle and it'll bisect it and cut it into kind of narrow little strips as well. Let's try it. So not only is this a butter keeper, but it is a butter slicer as well. So we've got our butter and now we're gonna place it, I'm gonna place it right in the middle so that it will distribute the weight evenly. And then we just take this, my butter is cold. I, th I think it's important for it not to be too hot or warm, otherwise it won't cut at all. And then we're supposed to press. Oh, it presses really easily actually. Look, you can see it slicing. Oh, look, you don't have to use much force. <gasps> so cool. It's kind of like an egg slicer. Oh, can you see it from this side? Yeah. Okay. And then push all the way down until you hear an audible click, I think. There's some butter stuck to the top, but not much. And then we remove, look, perfectly sliced butter. I think this would actually be great if you're making a pie or some kind of recipe, if you're making a crust, some kind of dough where you need to cut the butter up, you can just push it through this thing, which you think will be super easy to clean just with a little warm soap and sponge. Very simple way to cut up your butter and then you just put this lid on it to store it in your fridge. I should say, very satisfying to use as well. Next, I impulsively bought these. So this is a Korean brand of snack. They're called turtle chips and they are not made with turtle. But what, what do they taste like? I don't know, never had them before. So let's give them a taste. So, turtle chips. Okay. Oh, so they show them looking like this. I think it's like the shell of a turtle. They look a little different. Oh my gosh, and they smell sweet. I guess they kind of look like a turtle, maybe like a turtle shell. Looks a little bit different than what is illustrated, I feel, maybe. It does say sweet corn flavor, which is pretty popular flavor in Korea. Let's give them a go. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Oh, I like it very much. Not really a crunch, but kind of a, a very light, kind of airy crunch. But the flavor is delicious. It tastes like corn potage flavor, if you've had that in Japanese snacks. It tastes like sweet creamed corn, which doesn't sound like a great description, but it's lovely. It is, I would say, in comparison to Western snacks, much sweeter than, say, a tortilla chip, Dorito chip. Mmm, but pleasantly so. The crunch is a little bit like a shrimp chip, a little bit styrofoamy in a good way, kind of melts in your mouth and has a very light kind of foam crunch to it rather than being like hard and brittle. Delicious. I would buy these again. The base tastes almost like a rice-based cracker. Yummy. So with any kind of snack, we need a beverage. And I picked up this. This beverage comes from China and it's called milk beer. What is milk beer? No idea. I typically drink beer out of a can. Whoa, whoa, this is old school. This is how beer cans, I believe, used to be opened. So you pull this little pull tab up and then you do that. Yeah. Here, let's pour it in the glass. Whoa. Are you seeing that? That definitely looks like milk. It smells slightly fermented, not in a bad way. Cultured is a better word, I think. A little bit effervescent. It tastes a bit like Yakult. Have you had those little Yakult, little kind of yogurt probiotic drinks? That's what it tastes like. A bit yogurty, but much thinner in consistency. Yet it definitely has some substance to it. I would say the consistency is a little bit like skim to 1% milk with a slight little fizz to it. A little bit of sweetness, slight fruity flavor, not bad. It does not taste alcoholic at all. It's more like a probiotic, but not bad. Let's try it with a turtle chip. No, not a good combination together. 
yeah, I think this is something to be had on its own. Not really a kind of quenching, snack, savory kind of thing. Not that kind of a beer at all, but glad to try it. Next, let's try this. This was leftover from my big Daiso purchase. If you missed that video, I'll put a link to that below. In that video, I purchased a bunch of things again impulsively, and I picked this one up as well, but I did not use it in that video. This is a tube squeezer. What this is, is a toothpaste squeezer. So this is supposed to get all the toothpaste out of your toothpaste tube. And it has a convenient little suction cup so you can stick it onto your wall or maybe the inside of your shower. Look, it's shaped like a rocket ship, cute. It has little fins on one side and I will put the toothpaste tube in here somehow. And it has a little slot which you can hook very smartly to this suction cup. I've also got a tube of tomato paste, which I keep in my refrigerator. And currently I roll it up like this, but I'm wondering if this will do a better job. I also have a tube of toothpaste as well to test, but these are two different materials. We have a metal tube and a plastic tube. So I'm curious to see how effective it is on either one. As per many Japanese products, it gives you complete pictures along with instructions on how to use it. Let's try it on the plastic tube first. So in here we have to rotate it so that the groove lines up with this groove here. See what I mean? Okay, now we slide that into there. Place the cap and then we just wind it. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. It rotates inside. Oh, it popped out. So it's not working on the first try, which is frustrating, but I think I can make it work. All right, here we go. Roll it up. Oh yeah, okay, it's working now. So just keep rolling it, and then it curls inside around that axle, see? And then it pushes all the toothpaste to the front. I'm wondering if this is limited in terms of the diameter of this to the size of toothpaste tube, but it is working. And now we just hang this up like that for when we need it. I love the added bonus of the suction cup so that we can hang this up when we want it. And it is terribly efficient. I think the build quality of this product could be better. The plastic materials are a little bit flimsy. Now to take the thing out, we can just slide it out, I believe. We slide it out and it does that. Let's try the metal tube. Don't know how well that's gonna work. This is the tomato paste. Same thing. Line it up, slide it in. I'm having trouble with the metal tube. It's not wanting to go in as nicely. Okay, let's, all right, let's try the metal tube see if I can get that one to go. So I'm not liking this one as much because I can't get this cap to get on. I didn't have this problem with the plastic tube. Okay. Oh yeah, this one's working too. Yeah, this one actually worked better. There's less spring in the metal material, so it doesn't want to kind of retract. So yeah, this one's working great. And get to the end gets a little tighter. There we have it, tomato paste. And we can just hang that from our pantry, in the refrigerator, where I usually keep it. Nice. Or we can just use it as a way to get all the tomato paste out of, oops, I broke it. Should have been from this side. Yeah. Like I said about build quality, could be better. <laughs> so in conclusion, the tube squeezer works, it just doesn't work that well. Okay, another thing I want to try is this. This absolutely confounded me when I saw this and the description didn't really help me understand it, but then after looking at it, I think I know what it is. This is for your bathroom and this is something you use in your toilet. So these are little fragrance tubes that you stamp blossoms of flowers in the inside of your toilet bowl so that your toilet and bathroom remain fresh smelling and lovely every time you flush your toilet. So this is like fragrance toilet bowl stampers. 
It shows you pictures in the back of how to use it. And you can already smell it through the packaging. It smells very floral. So let's try it out. Open this up. Oh my gosh. See, even the like tiny packaging is so cute. They look like little gummy bear toy like things. Like something that you could eat. It smells like soap. It smells like floral soap. This is gonna be my pretend toilet bowl since I don't have a toilet here. <laughs> and we remove the cap. This is very squishy, I just squished it. And then that's what it looks like on the top. It's like a gel, it's like a dispenser. It's like a teddy bear. Well, imagine this is our toilet bowl and we're gonna take this and we're gonna squeeze it here and it's supposed to make a flower. I'm using the camera. Oh my God! It's a perfect gel flower. It looks like a sakura, like a cherry blossom made out of gel. And it smells. And this is like fragrance. It's not any kind of soap, I believe. It's just fragrance and it's decorative. But I, I am so happy with how perfect that that dispensed. This is about maybe a third of the teddy bear's guts. So I think I can use this maybe two more times. Okay, let's do that again. Okay, place this. Squeeze. Oh my gosh. You place this on the inside rim of your toilet and then every time you flush, water is going to be pouring on it, right? Let's see what happens when you pour water. Look, nothing. The gel just stays there. I think eventually it melts. This product is a pleasure to use. It's made by Kobayashi and it's Blossom Bear Gel Floral is how they translate it. And it works beautifully. I'm not a big fan of the smell. I don't really like perfumes at all. So it's just too much perfume for me. But if you want a scented bathroom and you wanna have the joy and pleasure <laughs> of dispensing this so perfectly into your toilet, then by all means, this. Wow. <laughs> the last item I purchased is this. And I was so puzzled by this because I just didn't know what it was or is. I think I know what it is based on the description. This is a mirror or glass cleaner and it's supposed to use diamonds or manufactured diamonds, created diamonds, I, I don't know. But you're supposed to clean a mirror with this. This is quite small, this is a tiny little sponge. It's probably one inch by two inches, just like an eraser really. This is gonna be slightly embarrassing to share but I'm gonna share it anyways because this is my studio kitchen where I film my videos and I have to make sure that you know my hair isn't completely whacked even though oftentimes it is. I have a mirror here and this is my makeshift mirror. Ben and Josh, you'll remember this. This, <laughs> this is a piece of beach equipment but on the back of it I've affixed a mirror. This is just a square mirror tile affixed with duct tape and I just have this sitting in the corner of <laughs> my space so that I can see that I am not totally not presentable. But anyways, this is the mirror that I'm going to be using to test this out. Synthetic diamond mirror cleaning pad. So it says to wet uh, the mirror glass surface and then rub the scrub with gentle motion till the rough texture disappears. Rinse all dirt and then completely wipe. All right, so here is my tiny eraser, my diamond mirror cleaner. And it's on a very high density kind of foam, kind of similar to a magic eraser, you know those cleaner sponges, the Mr. Clean sponges? But we're only gonna use this part to clean it. Here's my mirror and it says to use a bit of water. Water, dampen and then scrub and it is cleaning it. So it is dirty a bit, see that? Mostly dust though. It says mirror or glass, so I'm not sure if this is more for like tile. I don't know, why do you need diamonds to clean a mirror for? Oh look, there's some res res residue? Is that residue or just water? Okay, we're doing our rubby dubbies. Then I'll take my soft cloth and wipe. I don't know about this, this one. Like why wouldn't just water and a cloth work? I don't know, maybe if you have a lot of that's to do. I'm not seeing a huge like wow effect on this. So it has a very cool pattern. Hmm. 
it, it did clean it, yes. Now that I've let this dry, it did clean the mirror's surface, but it might have also scratched it too. Can't really tell. Using a towel and some window cleaner, I'm not sure how this is more effective. I feel like I'm kind of missing the point on this one. So let me know in the comments if you've used diamonds to clean mirror or glass before, and if so, why? Or what's the purpose of this? It's so small. Maybe it's more like an auto detailing thing for a windshield or, or tile. I'm really, really, really puzzled and perplexed by this. Alrighty, my lovelies, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one as much as I enjoyed playing with everything. I hope you learned something. I certainly did. And I certainly got to scratch that itch of wondering what that thing is. I actually got to experience it for myself. Thanks again for watching. Please share this video with your friends, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye. All right, off to wakeboard. Not, you don't even know how to wakeboard. Is this even a wakeboard? No, this is not even a wakeboard. It's some sort of beachy kind of board, but you don't know what it is.